and we are live and we are back let's go i'm Corey. i'm jordan it's the corner full of fat podcast and we are back like we never left we are back like we never left episode podcast episode nine podcast episode, yes number nine see all right let me say this i don't know the last time we've done these it's been eight months so <laughs> I, I don't i'm not i'm not sure on how the intros go for these but this is your first time tuning in on podcast files jordan and i We'll go on the internet and we'll react to videos like you see pretty much a whole bunch of other people do on YouTube. But we got tweets. I think, well, one of these is a YouTube video because the Twitter video is messed up. But we got YouTube, one YouTube video, one Twitter video. Normally it can be sometimes relationship stuff. But today we got a finance one and a fitness one. I think it's the first time ever we have strictly a finance and, <laughs> and yeah. a fitness only. That's, that's worth a round of applause right there. Look, look. Good job, Corey. <laughs> I put it like this. These, I think, these are my last two. So you know, I don't know if it, you know, synced up this way or whatever it is. I might have like one more. That's what we got for y'all. But before we get y'all started, Jordan, tell us people what we do on this podcast. On our podcast, we talk about fitness and finances and health and wealth and everything in between. And we want to make sure you save more and say less and keep making better your best. Yes, yes. Now, I'm gonna do this now. Okay. Entertainment purposes only. Don't sue nope. me, see your mama. Neither Jordan nor myself are finance or fitness professionals. Anything you hear on here is only for entertainment purposes only. You need to do your own research and seek out professional for any questions you have about real life stuff. Normally, I forget to do this and I'm already talking on the Wealth Wednesdays. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> there we go. Get out the way. Um, That's a lot nicer. He used to say, "Don't sue us, sue your mama." Look at it. Look. I did. I did say that. Did you? Oh, I missed I it. I said, "Yeah, yeah. don't sue us, see you." I, you know, I've been I'm saying so much. Being now. a lot more aggressive, you know what I mean? Uh, I, mean yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. real nice this time. Look at that. I gotta say it real quick like that because this is a disclaimer for the <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness! We should all do right. that. We should pre-record it and then make it go like three times as fast. That's what I said. Like, That's what, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we keep saying all these things we need to do, right? But yes, we should do that. Yeah, we should. We should. It sounds good. It sounds good. Oh my goodness! But all right, y'all. And again. Before we get started, make sure that like button, share Please. and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. Make sure you leave those rating reviews on the podcast platforms as well. We see we see the numbers. The numbers are going up. So I, I'm going to keep saying it because you guys are doing it. The views are going up, et cetera, et cetera. So just keep doing what you're doing. And, you know, people should subscribe to the channel. But for most YouTubers, most people watch the videos. They're not the subscribers. So for those of you who don't watch this, please subscribe. But you're not going to, so you know either or. <laughs> we are gonna keep telling y'all. We gonna keep yeah, telling y'all. It. it doesn't. You know. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, do you have anything else before we get started? No, sir. I think we're no, good to no. go. All right, locked and loaded. Let's go. All right, here we go. Uh, see, I, I don't even know how we did these. This is gonna be the first, the first video. It's not. <laughs> He's about to say first, first fitness. First question, of all, yeah, first <laughs> fitness. Hey, I'm about to share. I'm about to share the screen. Oh my goodness! If people watch about Wednesdays, they know I'd be struggle streaming on this like a mug. So it's all good. All right, hopefully you guys can hear this audio. Sorry, you said what? No, I said they know what we talking about. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully y'all have heard this audio, but I'm pretty sure you've seen this video before. Can you see the screen? Uh, can you see it, Jordan? Yeah, we good. All right, cool. Okay, if you guys haven't seen this, but in short, this is gonna be. This is from the Millionaire Mindsets podcast. No cop. Uh, what is it? Fair use. Fair use. But um, this woman you see right now, she is a nurse. I'm pretty sure she's a travel nurse. And they're going to ask her a question about, in short, what type of friends you should have in your circle. And let, let me know, Jordan, if you can't hear it. Gotcha. <laughs> so uh, going into, like, the, the importance of who you surround this, um, yourself with, mm -hmm. for the people that's listening, let them know, like, what's the ideal type of people you need to have in your circle if you're really trying to level up? Like, what are those qualities or characteristics going to look like? Y'all not going to like that. Uh -oh. <laughs> Be honest. Be honest with us. Be honest with us. You you got to you got to start hanging. Like, I, I had made this this um this comment and this post like a while ago. I said, if you don't have if you don't have friends that you can go to, not not nobody you can go to go with with drama or gossip. If you have friends that you can't talk to and say. I need ten thousand dollars. I need fifteen thousand dollars. This is this is this plan I have. You in the wrong circles. I'm gonna keep playing, but we gotta make. I can't. You know, I can't play it the whole way through. Right, 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 right. All right. This is good. This is good. This is a good. That's a good. That's a good, that's a good stopping point. This is a good stopping point. All right. I know. I've already seen this. I know you said this is your first time. Like seeing, no, for sure you've seen it. Right. So what do you what do you think about that? She's all right, again, again, y'all. She's a pretty traveler nurse. 
in this video. Are we about to play a soundboard effect? <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and play. What was you? I, mean, I don't got no soundboard guy. Get, but go ahead and play what you was going to play. What was it? Hold on, Oh no, it's oh, not no, on here. Is it no, 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 no. Listen, no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, we good, we good, we good. Oh my goodness. All right, but again, like I said, as a recap, so she's a travel nurse. I think she's from Baltimore. That's what the comments were saying uh, in the, on Twitter. But again, she said you need to have people in your circle you can go to for ten or fifteen k for a business plan. So, did you do? Does your circle work like that? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, let's we clear. let's be clear. I mean, half of my circle is half your circle, right? So, does your circle? No, let me <laughs> <laughs> right? No, you're right. It's, 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 it's a significant overlap, right? Oh, my goodness. Um, so I don't think I can ask every let me be very clear 10 to 15k, at least where we're at right now in life, is not an insignificant amount of money, at least not yet. You know what I mean? We are working on it. People in our circle, we 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 do have some significant shakers and movers in our circle, all right? We got some people making some bread, all right. Um, but I don't think I can just pull up on them yet and ask them for 10 to 15 K. Um, shout out to what we do, the, like the, like the finance and, you know, finance management and all that type of stuff we do. Do we want me to go into detail about that? Are we, we you're good. You're good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just make sure yeah. we're good. Okay. So yeah, so we have like a, we have a finance meeting once a month where we, you know, we, as in the circle people that were just mentioned, uh, meet up and we discuss our, our finances, we discuss investments. Um, and we've been doing so for at least the past, I think Corey said this is our third year now. So shout yeah, out to them, first of all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to everybody staying together. You know, it's hard to get yeah, we three years in. Locked in, putting in the work. You know what I'm saying? So that that's something that we've already established. However, even within the confines of that that context, right? I don't think we're at the point where I can just pull up with a layout and just be like, all right, I need 10k from everybody. Um, just because we are where we are in life, right? Now that's not to say that we won't grow into that, right? Um, I probably could do that. Let me be very clear, I could probably do that on a smaller scale. Like I could probably be uh, like pull up and be like, all right, y'all, I need about three bands. This is what we about to do with it. This is foolproof. I've seen this work. I think I could probably, I could probably get. I, what you think? I, I could probably get about three bands out of everybody. I'm thinking five max, but the plan, the plan would have to be foolproof. It would have to make sense. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think I'm on. I don't think we're the amount is what got me right. I don't think we're on the ten to yeah. level yet. People got you know, so we're in that phase. So again, background about us without going too deep into our personal lives. We thirty. You know what I'm saying? We 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 were. A lot of us are either. I'm 29. Look, let me be very clear. I'm 29 yeah. right now. Yeah, I'd be 30 what? in less than 30 Is it days. 20, 20, 20 days. You got 20 live, days left. I'm living my my last 20 days in my 30 <laughs> or my 20s right here. Okay, so I'll be 30 uh, May 6th. Um, that being the case, uh, I, I you know I got a family. I'm married. You know, got a wife, got a son. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us are either dating, engaged, married. You know what I mean? And either have kids or you know maybe in the possibility of having kids. So that being the case where, you know, we're all in that phase of life where we got people that are dependent on us. It's it's where you are in life determines how much uh, disposable income. That's what this is. Disposable income that you have to, to put into these type of investments or, or business plans. Right. Um, I, like I said, I don't think it's something that we can't do. I just don't think we have it at this extent. Right. I don't have 10 to 15. K. I got an emergency fund. This ain't gonna qualify as an emergency. You Corey, you might, you know, you, my dog, right. You pull up and tell me you need 10 bands. I <laughs> I need dates, returns, percentages, ETA. I like you would have to <laughs> now I think our relationship is a little bit different. Like you I might I I ain't gonna hold you. If you Jordan, me Jordan might give me the ten thousand dollars. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I'm a little I'm built a little different. I'm a little reckless. I might do it. Okay. I might slide it your way. I'd be like, look, yeah. just let me know what we what you need me to do. And yeah, what you, yeah, Jordan's gonna ask how okay, how can I help? Right. <laughs> It's, the, uh, from, uh, it's uh from uh the town with Ben Affleck and uh what's the guy who's who's the guy who played Hawkeye? What uh Jeremy Renner? Oh, yeah, and he yeah, said yeah. uh their brothers in that movie, he's you know, you know, he pulled it, said, you know, where are we gonna bury, you know, who, whose car are we taking? He's like, I need you, you know, I need you to help me buy bury a body, don't ask me no questions. Yeah. So his immediate response is whose car are we taking? That, that's <laughs> that's what Jordan's saying. I'm saying, you know what I mean? It's, what do you need me to do? What do you need me to do? No. Yeah. My whole family, I hope my whole family in Jeffrey, <laughs> what do you need for me? <laughs> It's one of those things where it's like there are certain people in your circle where like let's be honest when you add, when you come up with a business plan there are certain people in your circle that instantly come to mind right like I would ask you you know what I mean I would probably ask like Adam shout out to Adam you know what I mean it had to be people that I know are like minded like us that are already aligned that already either had their finances together or in the process of getting them together you know what I mean and I could pull up and literally be like look and they have faith in me right they're gonna trust mm -hmm. my word and you know what I mean we could roll like that not saying that my whole circle don't work like that it's just you know. Everybody circles at different levels. You got people that's like, okay, like you said, where whose car are we taking? Yeah, <laughs> and right, you got the people yeah, that's yeah. gonna ask a couple questions before they get in the car. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, pull, I'm pulling up to the whose car are we taking people first. Mm -hmm. Um, but saying all that to say, 
nah, bro. Ten to fifteen grand is a lot of bread. Okay, <laughs> it's yeah. a lot of it's a lot of bread for the. What, what what is our class right now? What are we? Are we like middle? Are we middle? I don't even know. We if we're are, high middle. Are we high middle? Here, you know, we're definitely okay. we're definitely middle class. Okay. When it, and we're definitely not lower. You know, we're definitely we're not lower middle class. Okay, so that by default, know, that makes us middle know, middle class. Yeah, <laughs> are yeah, we middle? So, yeah, I don't. Let me let me Google it real quick. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't even know what I am, but saying all this, I just know I'm not in the one. I'm not in the one percent, so I know no, where I'm not. not. You know what I mean? But I know for a fact right now I can't loan most 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 people. Ninety percent of the people in my inner circle, I'm not giving them 10, 15 bands just for an idea that they got. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Especially if they track record ain't ain't on par. You know what I mean? Like you'd have to be that that guy that's that's hit a couple out the park and it's like okay, this is like your fifth business plan. You didn't you didn't made a couple racks off the you know off the off the previous ones. Let's see what you got. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It's saying the upper middle class. What salary is upper middle class? This is from Financial Samurai. Here, I'll share this tab because shout out to the internet. It's saying uh, this is in 2021. Median household income was 68K. So upper middle class is usually considered at least 50% or higher. So that's, let's say, 70,000. So 50% of that is 35,000. That'd be 105K. Therefore, an upper class, right? It'd be 100K or higher. That's for the whole nation. So... No, nah, mm-hmm. no, here we go. You know what I mean? So that's that's upper middle class though. Okay. So, uh, median household. Oh, let's adjust it for Maryland because we uh, Maryland, by the way, has the highest. I think it's DC, but you know the high yeah. the highest median household income. So when we talk about money over here, we it, we the whole state. Remember the whole, the, not just like the area, LA, New York. No, the whole thing, the whole the whole place. <laughs> okay, the whole it's the whole state and DC. So Maryland's going to be ninety one k. So wait, after it's ninety one. Wait. Median, oh yeah, median. Okay, a yeah, median is low. Yeah, median is ninety. So fifty percent of that is forty five. So that'd be one thirty five. Got you. So okay, so and this, and this well, I guess I'm not gonna tell her. <laughs> we gonna leave. We gonna leave it at. <laughs> <laughs> I caught myself. I caught myself. I, I, I did. Myself. I did. I, I look. <laughs> okay, we're we're You're not good. in poverty. We're not in poverty. I'm gonna leave it okay. there. We're All gonna right, make a million that. dollars, but you know, that'd put it like this: bad. we're making enough to where we're you know we're not we don't got ten or fifteen k. Gotcha. But we not, you know, we're not gonna say exactly where we're at, but yeah, yeah. at least but, we, we we somewhere in this ballpark, right? Because right. oh it's, 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 I think it's almost like, is the income there? Is not the question. Is it disposable? You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. That's that's more of where we're at. You know what I mean? And if right. I ain't gonna hold you, it would depend. Literally for me, me personally, right? Who's asking? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> mm-hmm. everybody not getting that yes or no. You know what I'm saying? I might for certain people, my circle ain't got 10k. No, nope. I, mean, I don't even care what the plan is. I don't got 10k. I'm sorry. No. No, right? Yeah. So who's asking, right? And then mm-hmm. even even depending on that, I'm not gonna like you said, I'm not gonna put my entire family in jeopardy, right? Like I, right. I, I there's there is a number that I have to keep to be you know to be sure that everything's gonna flow on this side, and then if anything does go wrong, that we're good, right? So yeah, no, nah, th- th- there's nothing wrong with the idea. We we liked one of the reasons we started a group is for the idea, like the foundational idea of having a group of people that you can go to if you're not because you know if you're not uh I think it was an angel investor. Or no, excuse me, uh, not angel investor, an accredited investor, which is like two million net worth or something. There's a particular, you know, um, data points you have to reach from a financial standpoint to where you can be deemed an accredited investor. But that, you can say that just liquid capital or is that a net worth? One of them, it's a combination of like it's like a and or type of thing where like if you don't meet this or you can do this, something like that. What gotcha. Is, okay, okay. Yeah, gotcha. it should be a pull it up real quick. Yeah, but it's like yeah. But, you know, people be having you know two million two million dollar net worth, but it's like okay, if you got five investment properties and they all go two million, you can't give me, you know what I'm saying? You can't give me hundred k right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So uh, Investopedia is saying S- the SEC. I remember uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Go ahead and play. Uh, go ahead and FBI open up. FBI open up. Okay, that's 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 technically for the IRS. Okay, remember the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Treasury, the Fed, the IRS, and then the SEC. Not the Southeastern Conference where Alabama and LSU and all them Georgia's at. Okay, the SEC, the Security and Exchange Commission. If they show up and you're doing investing, that's like you doing taxes and the IRS show up. It's the same same situation. If you've seen with Wall Street, which I Jordan was about to say, say was Jordan say, to say, <laughs> after school, <laughs> <Shut out. laughs> Okay, now that would you see it? Did you guys see it after your son was born? Uh, no, nah, I saw it before. I saw it before. before. Okay, yeah. Joey, but it took about ten years to watch yeah. this movie. I did. I did. It was wild. I actually, I watched it a couple times after that. So yeah, now, it's, it's, now, it's, now it's, it's, it a couple times, right? It's crazy. Yeah. It's a Leonardo DiCaprio movie, first of all, so I shouldn't have to for- force you to, <laughs> to watch it. But regardless, um, SEC, so they define it as 200K gross um, in each of the two most recent years or joint income with a spouse or partner exceeding 300K. So if you're single, 200K, joint is going to be 300K for the last two years and a reasonable expectation of the same. Okay, so you got to be, essentially, you got to make, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars 
in the past couple of years and going forward. Then I, I swear there was another investor, far as investor, as far as two million on here. Let me not spend too much time. Oh, here we go. Where it is? What qualifies you? Wait, where is it at? Okay, it's either or. There we go. It's either or. See, I says either. So, so or so if you don't have the income, right? Or it's a person whose individual net worth or joint net worth with that person's spouse or partner exceeds one million, excluding the person's primary residence. So you don't get to count your house. Gotcha. You got to okay. have over one. So one of, one of those two, which is, you know, if you don't have the income, then it's going to, you know, what are the chances you're going to have a million dollars, right? In net worth, if you don't yeah. have a crazy income, just mathematically. Yeah. 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 Outside your primary residence, which is most people's largest. Most people's largest thing until they get their 401k up to they're about to retire. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So mo most, most people aren't that, but it's not, that that's not a, like when you see what it is, like, I mean, hundreds of thousand dollars relatively speaking like pretty high but to get it's an or statement here so you don't got to do that but you can get to a million dollar net worth without having a crazy high income before you turn 50. now you can't do nothing if you have a, you know if you're on the low income side right. uh, that, that, that's 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 not uh too hard to achieve you just gotta lock and load on your investments but um regardless of for this yeah no issue with what she's saying but then the dollar amount is like uh but the real reason bringing this up is because Again, this is what you see, like this is something that goes viral on the internet, and this is what you see. Yeah, you got to have 10 to 15K. Most people don't have this. So then the question is, well, how much should you have? Well, first, and I think I made the comment on here, because this is, this is how I feel about things. This is the real answer. Here we go. Here's a Twitter video that was messing up. All right, and if you guys see this, you're going to see me in here. I think I'm on here because, you know, this is my this is my Twitter account. But as I said, I said as a friend, I should put my friends in a position where they don't have to ask me for money and help them into a position where they have their own 10K. Mm. All right. So again, okay. still so, right, and so it's, it's one of those things where it's like, yes, yeah, so you, you know, you're some of the the people you spend the most time with, uh, five people you spend the most time with. But most people, and by most I mean like not like fifty one percent, like ninety nine percent of people <laughs> are not in this situation <laughs> to where they had the ten to fifteen thousand dollars. And so, I think a lot of the financial advice is, which is okay because it's your target audience, but it's so like far down the line as far as the steps or the process you would be in it from a timeline standpoint especially if you're black all right because all the black people complain how complain how we don't come from nothing which means if we're coming from nothing we're starting at step zero okay mm -hmm. so all right so i'm not gonna get into it i, I actually know that this is the whole point so you have to first in my eyes explain how to get there now obviously from a business standpoint if you want to target people you know step 10 and above i have no issue with that shout out to america but in general i always say if you can't give good enough game to get me from step one to step nine and you're mainly you know making money off of step 10 and above i don't like that that's sort of the scammer vibes you, if you can't yeah. show me how to budget if you're not well versed in budgeting or you can't you don't got somebody on your team from a business standpoint who can at least do it correct because you might you know right you, you shoot threes i ain't got no yeah. issue with that but if you ain't got nobody on your team who can block the rebounds uh you're yes, not gonna win championship shout out to anthony davis getting hurt by the way but <laughs> again did you see that already i did you know? that's, that's crazy bro i think that's he got hurt by the air I, I watched that's it. I think he got hurt by the air i'm convinced bro was like uh, literally like a piece right. of paper like he just bent. he just bent. Hey. Like, he just, i, I tell my barber i tell my barber all the time i said i don't like i don't draft anybody who's hurt coming out of college <laughs> nope i don't care what sport it is if you get hurt if you get hurt in college and I, I'm not gonna do this, and this is you know it's not the sport episode, but yeah, I can like, you know run off a litany of people. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, shout out to Zion Williamson, by the way. All right, blew out, crazy. blew out a shoe. He like I, so you know this the sniper videos, people that's what happened to him. Somebody listen, shot his shoe on the game. I I never seen such a malleable basketball player, yo. Anthony David, like that's crazy. That's not those are that's the adjective that you're not supposed to use for a for a basketball player. He's that fragile, bro. Yeah, that's up anyway. my LeBron Jordan argument. I mean, trying to, get these, trying to get these rings, Anthony. We, we, we need you. <laughs> Secretly, Anthony Davis uh, fans. All right. Regardless of all that to say, no issue with you know giving game further down the process. And then she's talking about from a nursing perspective. I think she used to make thirty dollars an hour. Now she had two hundred. And you know, I know your wife knows people in the travel nurse field, and I've worked with some clients for a short period of time where you see that bag and it is a bag. Now, let me yeah. be very clear. Travel yeah. nurses can make it six months with, with some of you don't, you know, make take you two years to make. It is crazy, crazy money crazy. that they can make doing that. Obviously, the work is extremely hard, right? I mean, look, you know, if you don't if you don't like blood, you can't be in the, you can't be in the medical field. But, you know, their bag is literally limited to how many contracts they can hold. You know what I mean? Yeah. How, how, 
how many hours are in a day, basically? You know what I yeah, mean? What, like, they can, what they can physically do. But it, it yeah. is crazy money. And obviously, you know, it, and it's something we all understand as well, you know, here in America. So it's definitely not something to shy away from. But to just come out the gate and be like, yeah, you need a 10 to 15K. And right, and this podcast is named, you know, the millionaire mindset. But I'm just going to say this, you know, see you in 40, see you when I'm 40. If everybody's showing up with all this money, I just, I like, there wasn't someone I follow. His name is Anton Daniels. He got all, he got like from 10 years ago. You know what I mean? So like you get to see his progress. I, if you're just showing up, I'm like, wait a minute. I, wait. I need to, no, no, no. I don't, I, I, I got to see how you got here before you got here. Right. I just, I just like the receipts. And so not saying, I think this, yeah, I said she's from Baltimore. So I'm not saying, you know, she's lying on here. But this is information that people hear from a financial standpoint. And then y'all wonder why y'all struggling financially or think you can do all this stuff. Because this is what you see on social media. And it's like, no, nah, I don't, it don't work that way. You're not even on a budget yet. But it's like that in all facets of life, bro. Like, you know, I'm always tying the fitness section. It's like, you, you got it. You can't just show up with the, with the body. You can't just show up with the gains. You know what I'm saying? If you show up with the Insta muscles, I'm gonna be like, bro, you, where you, where are your videos back when you couldn't get 135 up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Where, where are your videos at? When you, you know what I'm saying? When you couldn't squat at all. And now you're out here with the five plates. It's like, uh, where's where's your needle at, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Like, what you, <laughs> what's yeah. in the bag, bro? You know what I mean? Like, Look, this is why. People, this is I mean, why we do it. Yeah, go ahead. I was just saying, respectfully, in profession, transformations is what gets sales on that side. You need to see, mm-hmm. you need a before and after. Nobody just cares. Nobody wants to see the after. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They want to see what you came from and then where you're at now so they can show that you you know you can show your progress right that's that's what sells at least from the training point of view so right you know what i mean now put it, put it like this this is why we do the fitness and finance so when my finance examples don't make no sense i got the got the fitness example just just right just right here in front of you people don't just show up crazy strong you gotta you know you know you follow people when you follow them but they have proof of what they look like before they started getting in shape they all do and if they don't even put it like this, even people who juice do, even they, they even, do, they do, they got some skinny photos somewhere. I promise you, I promise you. Now, now their timeline is augmented, right? Or no, it's faster than you know what the general yeah. average and median is. But they even have proof of what they look like before they started doing steroids or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but so on the finance side, and you just show up with the bag. No, no, I, I need I need to see something. And then when I start asking people to show their tax returns, and people have an issue with that, you know, your tax returns. Right. You want to see Trump's tax returns? Where, you pull up yours then. Right. <laughs> well, your turbo tax at right yeah, now. Right, <laughs> right. HR block, whatever it is. Right. Yeah. Kind of fun. You see about Clarence Thomas? I did not. What do you do? They said Clarence Thomas. Thomas. Well, look, they talking about he's been saying he's been making fifty to a hundred thousand dollars for from a real estate business like over the last like few, you know, you know, recent years, but yeah. the business closed in two thousand six. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait that's a all minute. I also was a headline. I got no more information, but I was like, that sounds bad. Right. <laughs> but like, no he's, supreme. No <laughs> he's one of the he's one of the nine most powerful people in the United States, the Supreme Court justice. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. He's that's in a permanent a position. Yeah. I don't even know how you uh what's your sister was here. 17. Yeah, look, a seven, I don't even know how you get a Supreme Court uh Supreme Court justice kicked off. I mean, I, I don't even know if it like I don't even know if it's possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, I don't. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be. Honest. I'm pretty sure. So I think I know the answer to this. One, right? I'm pretty sure that you had to die, or you had to get the others to basically. Uh, what am I trying to say? Yeah. Remove them from power. Yeah, and I, they're yeah. not gonna do that. They're not gonna do that. They're not gonna do. He would have to literally do something. I mean, now nah, this is egregious, but I mean, it's. I don't think it's. I don't think it's worthy of them wasting their time to get together to move them. I don't think I do it. I don't think they're gonna do it. I'm pretty sure that's how. They, I might just be talking about my ass, but I'm pretty sure that's how that goes. Death. <laughs> Or the other justices have to get together and vote to remove him from power. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Because you get nominated, that's for life. I mean, it's the reason yeah. why. You know what I'm saying? They got to get impeached. Which, but I mean, by, by like whom? This. By whom? What's the process? Yeah, that's yeah, it's, it's like gonna be. I mean, it's like a Congress. So, I mean, you know, check okay. the balances. But put it like this, and this is what I was talking about with they was complaining about Robert Kavanaugh. It's like, in short, this is he's the he's the you no know, he's the ninth worst. Uh, you know, he's the ninth best attorney in the whole country. You know what I mean? He's a Supreme <laughs> Court. <laughs> think, think about when Robert Kavanaugh was on trial. It's like he's on trial to be a Supreme Court justice. I hope he knows. You know, what I, mean? I hope he knows the law. He's about to, I don't know if people understand. The, when they make a decision, that's it. You got to start the whole process over again if you want something. Yeah. <laughs> he's not. He's, he's not incompetent. I would hope. You know what I mean? Like this. This right. he's a. He's a. This not a first ballot Hall of Famer. This is Jordan. I mean, I mean, he's a Supreme yeah. Court justice. Yeah. He's not, he's, 
<laughs> he's on top of the top of what he does. You know what I'm saying? He's like they gonna take a Supreme Court justice to court. What what that mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like by definition, unless a Supreme Court justice that's uh you know that's gonna be the prosecutor, the person's gonna be worse than him, logically, by simple logic. Never mind. We're literally, not talking about that right now. Way to catch, he had had the smoking gun. <laughs> like literally, he got to be standing there with the blood on his hands, with the with the yeah. with the murder weapon, while it's still hot. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's one of those type of things. Oh my yeah. goodness! But I was I was saying all this to say, look, y'all. Uh, what was this? I don't know why I was bringing that up. Who cares? Let me finish playing the rest. Let me finish playing the rest of the video. <laughs> all right. The wrong circles. Oh, and they, I they, never, they ain't gonna like this. No, <laughs> no. And it's like you know, you had to put yourself in spaces where. You're with people who are smarter than you. Mm -hmm. And I think sometimes we're uncomfortable to be in rooms with people who know more than us. Mm -hmm. Mm. And that like, I'm telling you, you just, you, you. It went out on this side, bro. No, it went out. Where did it go out at? Uh, where you gotta be in rooms with people um, and sometimes I think people get uncomfortable when they're in rooms with people who know more than them. Okay, let me stop sharing. I'm sharing it again. Let's see. Don't fail me, technology. Don't yeah, fail I can, me. I can go ahead and comment on that part since while you were. Yeah, 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 so, I, I mean, so I I do agree with her. Um, maybe not from personal experience, but just from like kind of like seeing it in action. I do think people <clears throat> Let's be clear. Nobody wants to be the the least intelligent person in a room, right? In in any regard, right? Whether it's fitness, finances, uh, in anything you participate in, you nobody wants to be considered the the idiot in the room, right? Um, it's a humbling experience. I've I've <laughs> so I mean I'll, I'll throw an example, right? So my for my fraternal life, right? So shout out to Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Um, I get to meet a wide range of uh <laughs> wide range of of African American men, right? Um, not even just African American men in general. You know what I'm saying? It's it's African. It, we're not gonna get into that. It's a black fraternity. Other people join it. I'm being a wide range of guys, right? So if, you don't, if, you don't, if you don't, you don't know, know about the Greek life, this I, not the Greek life. We ain't getting that. But <laughs> you must not be. You're either not black, and if you are black, you don't know. <laughs> you need to go do something. You know what I mean? <laughs> Google, Google, Google right now. Look it up. It's a bar right, right above. Let me, let, me get, let me not get you in trouble. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Okay. But anyways, I meet a wide range of guys who know a lot about a lot of things you know what i mean and it's a humbling experience if you sit down with a brother who's been one who's been a part of this organization for 50 60 years you know what i mean they just seen some things you know what i mean they they were alive when segregation was you know like they, they lived through it you know what i mean so they've got to see you know to see where we've come from to now and all the knowledge they've amassed and they're willing to share that with you it's a humbling experience so sometimes you do gotta you do have to be the person that, <laughs> that doesn't know anything you gotta sit down you gotta talk less you know, listen more, right? And that that's hard for a lot of people in our generation because we think we know everything because we do got the internet at our fingertips. And I'm not saying we, you know, we 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 discover information a lot faster, but that doesn't mean we know everything. Let's be very clear. We are we are the we will sit here like like Corey just did, right? I I, I said some shit out of my ass talking about he get, he can get it voted out by nine other justices, and he literally looked at and said, "Nope, we gotta get impeached." Wrong, just like that. You know what I mean? That's our generation in a nutshell, right there, right? We we got information at our fingertips, and we just you know we'll go out there and get it. However. It sometimes it does not top the knowledge that's passed down from generation to generation to generation. Um, and some of those brothers, 70, 80 years old, I've learned some things that I don't think I could have found in a book. I don't think I would, you know what I mean? Just just from listening to their personal experience. They didn't taught me some stuff about investments. They've taught me things about, you know, about you know, ownership, about properties. Uh, I've learned things about taxes, you know what I mean? The difference between it, listen, there's, <laughs> there's a wide scope of stuff I can share on this podcast that I've learned, you know what I mean? But saying that, you, you, you have to humble yourself sometimes, go in, be willing to listen more, say less, right? <laughs> um, procure this knowledge, right? And then be able to that one, so one, it doesn't die with them, right? That's the first thing we, we lose a lot of we call it losing recipes, I think that's what they call it now, right. But we lose a lot of recipes, uh, <laughs> recipes being the metaphor, right? It's, 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 you know, synonymous for a lot of just knowledge in general. We lose a lot of knowledge because we don't, we don't listen. You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't take the time to, to, to sit down with our elders and, and learn from their experiences, right? Um, that's not to say that, you know, it invalidates your own, but you can combine that knowledge, you know, together and then, you know, come up with a better product or a better, a better path forward based off of, you know, what you've heard from your, from your elders and what you've lived through, right? Um, so we, we don't, we don't, we don't want to lose recipes, sit down, take the time, listen to the people, humble yourself, listen to the people in the room who've lived through it, who've done some things and, and, and get that knowledge. I do think it makes people uncomfortable though. I've seen it firsthand where people are trying to, 
the loudest person in the room is usually the most uh, the most unintelligent. I've seen that firsthand, right? When people just talk and talk and talk, and it's like, yo, shut shut the hell up. I want hey, to listen to that's what they, that's what they say yeah, about me. Hey, no, hey, you, you, hey, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm just I'm so I, I've told you this many times. You were the very you're my eclectic friend, right? You're the person where if we had a million, if we were on if there was a group version of who wants to be a millionaire, and they asked a random ass question, they said, Who on your team do you want to take this question? I'm nominating you. You have been voting you up, okay. You you yeah. know a lot like about this. It, if it's me, stuff. if it's it's myself in China, shout out to China. If it's myself in China, if we could do two, I, I think everybody knows like we probably gonna get pretty much every question. You know what I yeah. mean? China out. So shout out to China. China out in California doing HCAS stuff right now. Okay, for those who don't know what HCAS is, it's like Jeopardy for for colleges. All right, she like like you said, she like I'm pretty sure she's in the Hall of Fame for that shit. Okay, yeah. so I don't. <laughs> She, she, know. Knows, she knows like oh, i don't know like presents and stuff you know she knows like all that type of stuff like you know information that is like important but it's not like on like the you know, i guess be, i don't know what i i don't know it's not on the side that I, it's, it's, it's a collective knowledge that's, that's how yeah. i classify right it's not it's oh, not okay. stuff that you would necessarily encounter in everyday life but i can ask her who's on the back of a nickel and you know what 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 monuments on the back of a nickel and she would know i'm that about shit. to say there's you nobody in the like, back of a nickel I said, I, you see what i'm saying though like yeah, yeah hey 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 <laughs> now it's like, I, I, was requir- I was required to know everybody that's on the uh the money so i could know what fake you know fake money is you see what i'm saying look yeah. uh, people be taking i was i was trained i was trained on that <laughs> you know I mean? like I, I, that's what i mean though so saying all to say yes i do agree with her in the fact that yes people do get uncomfortable uh with 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 knowledge being in a room surrounded by knowledge it makes them feel ignorant and it i mean it can be overwhelming sometimes especially if the person sharing the knowledge is a little arrogant but it's like it, it you have to and this is this is my last little tidbit i'm, I'm gonna turn it over to you you, you gotta it's learn it's our, it's our episode. No. <laughs> <laughs> what i've learned so this is probably one of my best skills that i think i've learned in my you know almost 30 years of life right you have to learn to pick through the bullshit okay you have to learn to take in a conversation remove people's personality and ego that might come with it pick out the tidbits of knowledge that is relevant to you that you need and discard the rest right I can have a conversation with somebody who is completely arrogant, but might be knowledgeable about about a particular uh, subject that I care about. Pick out the parts that I need and completely discard the rest of the conversation without getting emotional, uh, feeling disrespected or feeling belittled. Right? Because you can you can insult me all you want, but what you did is just give me free game. You know what I'm trying to say? So you <laughs> and, and and that takes it takes growth. Uh, it takes a certain level of maturity, and a lot of people don't have that that uh that personality trait you gotta you know what i'm saying you have to be able to (laughs) to deal with people's nonsense sometimes to get the knowledge and then whether you want to continue that conversation or continue to get knowledge from that person is up to you but i know how to pick out what i need have a conversation and then either be done with you or come back late i might even spend the block and have another conversation you can be as arrogant as you want to be i don't care but if you teach me game about how to you know turn my 10 into 10 thousand i'm I'm going to listen you know what i'm saying i might not necessarily act on it but i I want the knowledge and it is up for me to to determine if i want to apply it or not you know what I'm saying? So again, a skill that you learn over time, right? Right. Nah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you you touch touch all the points that people picked on me about, about being the loudest person in the room. First off, you're <laughs> mad that I'm smarter than you. Let's start there. Second <laughs> Yeah. I said, you know, you know, you know, I always say I, I got counters like your punches. One, I talk trash better than like everybody. So, you know, I work on ways to I prepare for y'all in the future. Like I, I think about comebacks. So now my comeback is I'm pretty sure I said it on here, but it's like if we was out, it's sort of like you said, like somebody had a random question. But how about this? If we was out and somebody showed up and there's like 10 people with all these guns, they said we're gonna kill all of y'all unless you answer this question correctly, right? And you get we we get to pick, man. <laughs> look, I'm look, look. I, I, they gonna pick me over you. I don't know if they gonna pick me, but they go. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> then you at least top three out of ten, right? Look, you, uh, <laughs> if there was a if there was a question to save your life, and I was in the room with you, and you had the option for you to answer it or for me to answer it, most people who I know they would still pick me. <laughs> <laughs> do they at least give me okay you don't get to, you don't get to know the question okay all right no no no, no. Not, category do at least get a category nah, nah, you know nah, what show, you know me <laughs> no you know me i'm gonna create a scenario where i'm gonna be you know it's gonna be to my benefit right okay. you know it's something like some you know it's some you know, like a uh, field hockey question from 1932 oh, if that was out you know what i mean it's something stupid Corey, i'm being there like stupid. look at that <laughs> Corey. hey i would just ask is it gonna be multiple choices i'm not the free response person because i'm just gonna keep talking so you know i'm gonna keep throwing crap on the wall to the stick <laughs> Regardless, though, as you were saying, being in the room a lot, but to my point, though, I always tell people a lot of time when they say it to me, I say, y'all just aren't in the room when I'm learning. See, what you don't want to say is the fact that you wasn't any, never mind, you wasn't in any of the AP classes with me. Oh, okay. See, you've been in standard and honors your whole life and I wasn't there with you. Okay, now I'll get an example. So, 
I'm saying all that to say one, and he just retired. The guy was talking about that play football in high school. Well, yeah, I, I, I was his team. You know, you know, it was his team, his team. But he just retired from the CFL, and he's he's the best football player I know, like personally. Like I actually know him, be like who I you know day in and day out with. But when he uh, he got um, unsigned to the Falcons and the, um, first the Saints, then the Falcons, uh, undrafted free agent. So he's been in receiver lines with Brandon Cooks and Julio Jones, and he's like, nah, you know what I mean? Like y'all, you know, however good you think I am. <laughs> <laughs> he's like i've been in receiver lines with prime brandon cooks and leo jones he's like yeah there probably is a big difference so that that's to say it's like you might not be in the room when the person is learning that you think is arrogant or cocky and so sometimes it might be you need to step your game up i, I ain't been in the receiver lines with julio jones and brandon cooks Listen. so i you know what I mean? but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's crazy. I've been to professional football games, but, you know, from a distance. And I say the same thing, sort of like well, basketball is like the best example. You'll see these, but these, you know, these bench riders, four from 15 on a the bench, they'll have some highlight tape over the summer and they're not missing a single shot. And it's like, because the gap is so wide at the top. Right. And right. sometimes you need to be, be able to say, humble yourself, or as I say, save more, say less. I literally say that at the end of yeah, the beginning of every episode. Okay. <laughs> right. Where you just need to sometimes shut up and listen. Now, that doesn't say that doesn't mean that people aren't in a situation where they're always talking. Because I do talk a lot. But let's be very clear. I went you went to school with me. I don't talk in class. <laughs> I don't talk in class. <laughs> I didn't talk in class. I'm sitting there. I take notes. I write my notes. I, I'm one of those people. I take notes. But then you can't come up and note. This is what I'm talking about being arrogant and cocky. How arrogant are you when you, you I know that you know that you know, you know, that yeah. you know less on the subject than me. Yeah. And then you're going to try to tell me to be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? That's arrogant on your part and controlling. Like, you know, something I said, we say concede, con yeah. concede defeat. You know what I mean? Yeah. But all, all that to say is you're saying that, yes, putting yourself in a situation or the circles where, yeah, sometimes you do just need to be quiet, shut up and listen. That's what Dave Ramsey says, right? You know, follow somebody else's plan. Like, it's tried and tested. It's almost, it's almost like an oxymoron sometimes, bro. It's like you got to be smart enough to know that you're not the smartest, that's the smartest person in the room. room. Right. Yeah. yeah. I, I say I know a little about a lot to have enough conversations. Like, yeah, I, I don't I don't think I know everything. But, you know, some of y'all trying to talk to a doctor, you know what the heart is. It's yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm, I, I can sit here with a surgeon, but I, I can follow. You know what I mean? I can, you know, get to a point where I don't seem like I don't know anything. And sometimes you don't even have like that first grade education on whatever subject it is. You try to complain about people being arrogant, and cocky and talking a lot. And I'm like, man. Then when I ask for receipts, everybody gets mad at me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm smart enough to know that I'm so I'm the opposite of that. I know you know a little bit about it, a little bit, you know, a little bit about everything. I don't. I know my stuff really well. You get what I'm trying to say? Now, you if it's a fitness question, I'm betting on me. If it's a you know what I'm trying to say, like it's, it's one of those type of things, right? If it's a fitness, if it's a software developer, it's 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know you code, I code. You know what I'm trying to say? It's like okay, coin flip, right? What we talking front end, back end, like you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, outside of the scope of my purview you know what i mean like what i know nah i'll take my chances with you you know what i'm saying nah, yeah. <laughs> and here's the thing and this is where it's like you know i just it's like it's not that i'll be thinking i'm i am or i'm not smarter than people but it's just like it's just doing enough research and i'll be, be having these crazy examples right and i'll be connecting all these things and it's like let's just be very clear the reason usually i have an edge is that i'm a better speaker than most people my vocabulary and my confidence when i talk is better than most people and that's usually right when someone speaks just can they can they convince you yeah. Right, C O N, right, for convincing confidence. Right, can they convince you? Did they both start with that? Okay, let, let, I don't know. I'm not an English degree. I yeah. assume they both start with C O N. <laughs> C -O -N though. But I, I know for a fact that when I talk, I know I, I, I talk like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I did yeah. just I, like now. Yeah, Except when you I saw those two, those two words, that, <laughs> and, that, and that's the other part, too. It's, it's, a, it's a skill you kind of know when a person starts talking. Uh, I think within the first 30 seconds, 30 to 60 seconds, I can pretty much determine whether somebody knows they're talking about or not. You know what I mean? There, I, again, I'm bringing, I'm always gonna bring it back to the bros. There's a brother that I talked to literally within the first 10 minutes of conversation that I ever met him, right? Like he gave me his name, started giving me some, you know, some, some small facts about his life. I was like, oh yeah, he, this is the guy. Like, you know, like, you know, you like save people's contacts and it's like, you put them under a specific group. I was like, yeah, circle, regardless of what happens, circle back to this gentleman and let's have some conversations. Cause he, he just, his life experiences. Are we talking about retired military? You know, then came back, got all the way to being an SES, you know what I mean? Been married multiple times. So, you know, you could probably teach me some things about relationships. You know what I mean? It's like, right. you know, investments out the wazoo currently sells real estate. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's just. It's uh, what am I trying to say? Credentials on top of credentials, you know what I'm saying? If somebody starts talking about their badges, you know what yeah, I mean? It's, right. it's 
They jump back. Oh, yeah. I, how long was it? How long have we been? It's been years, probably. The gym back, I got I beat the Elite Four. I was just I was just gonna say that sometimes, like you said, credentials, but a lot of times people don't want to admit when like you know, we, we rank some things like you know, tall, short, high, you know, small, big, whatever. And it's right. like there are things like that for everything in life. And I know I know you good because you got your master's degree, but let's be clear. We walk in a room and people start saying what degrees they got. We, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's. All right, <laughs> Look, I got. I know for a fact that unless you have a master's or a doctorate, I'm gonna I'm gonna match you at worst. For sure, for I'm sure. Master's, I got to do computer science. Yeah, yeah. And, and put it like this: that's how I look at you know just straight up you know other, everything in life. It's like yo, whether people agree with college or not, all this type of stuff. You know for a fact that you know who's the smartest person in the room. Everybody just got bachelor's degrees. I'm gonna be. I'm worst case tied for first. I got a degree because I'm side. It's it's really like so. You gotta be an like, engineer, physics. I mean, you gotta. Yeah, be, like, and I'm gonna concede. And I'm gonna concede to you. Oh no, he no, nah, he's an electrical engineer. He probably got my ass. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you mean like you know, but it's like it's literally in that way. It's like science, technology, engineering, math, right? If you don't have the science, basically, if you're not a doctor, right? You're not saving lives out here. Yeah. The worst we can do is tie, right? Because we are tech. By definition, we are technology, and you know what I mean. Te technology, right? You know what I'm saying. Yeah. We we on par with the engineers, and then even respect to the math people. I don't really know too many mad people that's blown in terms of career fields that's blown it out the water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, and most, I'm not trying to be mean. Like you said, like I, I've seen like stat, stat, what is stat, let me make sure I say it right. Statisticians, did I say it right? Yeah, statisticians. Yeah, yeah, but that most people on the mat, like the straight math, they're usually teaching, right? Yeah. Versus like you know we had to do math. Those, those people like physicists, chem, you know, chemists, you know, engineers, you know, they have to do crazy math, right? So they're they're but they're engineers, you know, right. what I mean, or physicists. But that's then most people who do math, they're usually teachers. And so they usually fall, you know, they're either in the, the teaching category or they end up falling into one of the other three. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like, so like I've seen people who are good at math that ended up going back and getting their master's in engineering or taking exactly. out. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So now they're in engineers. You know, they, yeah. they, they got a new hat on. Yeah. Because you want to yeah. do that type of stuff. You got to be crazy with it. But even again, master's or doctorate, let's be if like even you got your master's. Yeah. If you got an MBA, if you have an MBA, shout out to people who have MBAs. You don't have, you know, you don't, you don't trust me. People are not going to think you're smarter than me. <laughs> they might think you got me on the business side, right? Right. I'm just, but then let's be clear. The reason you got on the business side is like you kind of pursued that. I could have never mind. You know what I mean? Like we can, we can pull up, we can pull up LinkedIn's, and I, but I got you matched on your top three LinkedIn's from a financial perspective versus mine. Uh oh. Yep. I, I see. I'm not. Yep. <laughs> no disrespect to people with MBAs, but you get what I'm saying though. It's like you know, it's not, it's not what you know, but who you know, but you know, connections too. It's like. Even things I could, you know, say I'm deficient, and it's like, well, I can make a phone call too. Yeah, I, I'll make a phone call too. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. So it's, it's those type of things. So do you have anything else? I don't know how much more we got because it's the yeah. Whole I, was just, I, I was gonna say yeah. one, one last. Was, it's, it's also people's willingness to uh, make an effort to absorb that information, right? Some people just make <laughs> are just ignorant, right? And and I don't know if it's just again they don't want to admit that they don't know, or they don't want to you know sit there and listen. Or even the, the third option, which is, okay, let's say you don't want to listen to the person out here. At least be bold enough to go out here and do the research on your own and valid. You know what I'm saying? Figure it out what it is for yourself. But a, a lot, let's put it this way. Most people in our generation are lazy, so they don't want to do the third option. They don't, don't, they don't want to do the research. They don't want to humble themselves to listen to somebody that know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's like, wait, <laughs> you, you then that's that's why most people don't have a thousand people thousand dollars in their savings most people are out here ain't ain't benching 225 most people are, you know what I'm saying? like i'm not i'm not trying to be rude but like y'all don't have the results to have the attitudes that y'all have like you know what i mean like you you don't you don't like you know what i'm saying like you i i, I like i mean again not sure we're not trying to sound arrogant on this podcast but i know for a fact court so we those 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 two examples Corey and i meet both of those like you know what i'm saying i know for a fact Corey putting up Corey. you know what i'm saying he he, he thought up the two plates Okay, and that's the fitness round. Not every day, though, but yes, I, I've done it. You know what I mean? I'm not like you. Yeah. He can do it. And if I put it on I'm better on the. I'm better on the thousand dollars. That's. But I'm just. I, but I'm. But I'm saying is, you. You know what I'm trying to say? You got enough. Yeah. You got your fitness stripes on here. You know what I'm saying? And I know for a damn sure you got your finance stripes. You feel me? And it's like the stuff that we don't know about. We are not. We're not ashamed to learn. Or we're. We're. What, what is it? I think we're less than two phone calls away from somebody that know that stuff. Like you know what I'm trying to say? Right. Like, <laughs> so yeah. I can call somebody, and at worst, they can call somebody else that is a SME and whatever it is you're talking about, right? And mm -hmm. if not, I will be. You know what I mean? By the time we we have this conversation again, right? I'll either know it or I'll have somebody that knows it. You know what I mean? The next time we talk about it, because yeah, you know what I'm saying? If I hear it enough times, it's like okay, this is relevant information. I should probably get you know become more uh, versatile on this topic, right? right. So. That's my last, my last, you know. Nah, you got. I was gonna say to the recent. I mean, we have done one of these in a while, but to the recent. And this now I realize what we did. Well, it's always over an hour. But yeah. anyway, so <laughs> this stuff is all relevant. We talking about the research part. I want to be clear, and I, you know, I wasn't teller for uh, almost six years. 
but you know, like my friends' parents and things like that, you know, because I was doing it all throughout college. They they thought that that's like what I, you know, I'm a software developer. You know, what I mean, I've been doing this almost ten years, right? Ten years now professionally, Definitely, and that's right. what they asked me. They see me like, yeah, how's the banking going? I was like, I've been software. I was like, what do you do? I was like, I, I'm a, I got a degree. I said, I got a degree in computer science. I'm a software developer. But it's like, to be clear, if people, and first, also two people, the first time meeting me, I talk and argue enough to where I could say I'm a lawyer. Now, I, I would get, you know, I would get counterpunched if your sister was there. But I talk and argue enough to where I could be like, oh, yeah, I'm a lawyer. And people would believe me. <laughs> I did it. I did. I did. And do in the finance stuff, people think, you know, I do finances. That that's how, That's how, that's how my wife, got introduced to me you now she's asking her friend about me because we have uh same uh circle of close friends and then her friend was like yeah i think he's a financial advisor no <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is two years ago isn't it? i mean <laughs> it's crazy bro when you start having these conversations how you got to like tell people how many hats you got you know what i'm saying it's like which yeah. what what questions are you asking which one do you you ask yeah. me to break out right now you know what i mean because i gotta mm -hmm. <laughs> i gotta pull out my jacket like this like i got all of these you know what i mean right. <laughs> yeah these are what then, i put on yeah and then also too it's like what do y'all be doing? Like, who do y'all be helping? Like, what? Never mind. Because at the end of the day, y'all can complain all this stuff. But like, what do you be doing? First off, let's say you fix yourself, which most people haven't. But like, who else do you be helping? Okay, that's it. We're gonna go finish the rest of the video. Because then, then when I asked about that conversation, call the people that you that you've helped. Because random people who don't know me send me money and have me help them with their finances. Random people who do not know me at all. Yeah. But what? You, but then you complain about me talking about me yelling. I'm arrogant. Shut up. I literally got a, cl a client in Carmax yesterday. Like no, <laughs> like no, like no. And I did when I tell you, and I didn't mention that one thing. It's, it's again, you exist, especially in fitness. It's one of the things you either are or are not in shape. You, I am the product. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah, I, yeah. I, I was in there trying to. I literally was in there trying to sell a car. You know what I'm saying? Like I, nothing to do with my <laughs> fitness. And she was like. You know, you know, I'm not going to get into the details, but long, long story short, I, you know, she was able to surmise that we were trainers just from our physique, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, in, in, within the, in the Carmack. So saying all this, say, you, yo, your stripes talk for themselves. You don't got to, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't have to, it, it was, what's, what is it? What's understood? Doesn't need to be talked about? Is that, yeah. If you know, you yeah, know. That's what I'm that, saying. that happened when China had her housewarming. And we were like playing, you know, playing some games or something like that. And I remember she messaged me saying like, yeah, Corey, my aunt said that you'd be good in like financial service, something like that. I'm like, we didn't even talk about no money. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> never mind. All right, we, I'm going to go on. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's like, start pulling up the resume. And I, I don't be disrespectful people, but it's like, you can't have like always been behind. And then when you get older, you probably see this too on Facebook, but it's always people who's behind the whole time. You've been behind since first grade. You have never been anything in advance. And now you're trying to come up with all this equity. Now is it different if you got the success? One of my yeah. man's is like that. He's doing crazy in the, uh, the house flipping game, right? Gotcha. And he was, you know, you, but it's like, but yeah. you, they not, they mostly was not that. Yeah. <laughs> they did not run a million dollar business. I feel you. Okay. You just, you just sitting here tweeting mad that Lamar ain't got his contract yet. All right. Come on. <laughs> all right. I'm finished right, rest of the there we go, we good. I'm telling you, you just, you, you gotta, you gotta find those rooms. And it's, and it's, and it's not gonna be in clubs. Mm. It's not gonna sometimes be on social media. Yep. Sometimes it's going to business conferences. It's yep. going to you know places that you're you might not necessarily be comfortable. It might be you know. Went out again, bro. I don't know what it is. It's like giving us a couple of seconds, and it is. I, was going it's out. Okay. Yeah. I think you it. Let me finish listening to it, and I'll, I'll summarize it for everybody. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, she's not. She's just saying. So she's saying, if you want to be a nurse, go to a doctor's conference. She's, she's just saying, put yourself in the room with people, yeah. uh, which we kind of just discussed. But yeah, that's just, and she and she and she's done talking about that. They're going to the next question. Gotcha. So yeah, and we we pretty much already talked about that. It's getting out of your comfort zone. But yeah, I mean, it's very simple. If you want to, if you want, <laughs> if you want to get into the tech field, the actual tech field. Don't get you know fire all these people getting laid off of Facebook and all this. All right. Anyways, if you want to get into the tech field, you might need to <laughs> reach out to the tech people. Hey, it, it's always just interesting from our perspective. They want all these black people in tech. And then I'm sitting here confused. And I'm like, when did you get this equity to speak on this conversation? For sure. For sure. HBC, HBCU and I'm best friends, with everybody in the cohort. I'll just be confused. You don't got no tech stuff on your on your resume. But now everybody trying to say everybody we need it was like, well, you you're not good at math. You don't you don't even <laughs> You at least have to have algebra master to get into the tech field on like the actual technical side. Algebra is for sure. You don't need to know calc, but you have to have algebra PEMDAS, as y'all say, and y'all be arguing about them. I'll be seeing it too. <laughs> you see this the Twitter stuff that go viral yeah, and, and exponent. Y'all be, 
<laughs> y'all, y'all, your Kirk Cole gonna be all messed up. We start stringing things together. All right, so, anyways. So the arithmetic portion will be whooping y'all ass. I ain't even about to hold y'all. Y'all can't multiplication and division are on the same line, y'all. And so is addition and subtraction from left to right. Okay, okay. Left oh, to man. right. That's the let's order be, of precedence. <laughs> let's be clear. Parentheses is the most important thing. Yes. If you want to make sure things happen properly from a coding standpoint, which is math. Now, I'm not going to explain it to you, but, you know, from which is math, the parentheses is going to save you. It's going to save you. <laughs> I, pro- I promise you. <laughs> it is going to save you because it's, it's just how you understand what goes first because it's the clear cut number one. Okay. Other things like, well, addition and, you know, subtraction, it depends on where it's at. And then it depends if it's a net. Nope. Parentheses just. Yeah. This ends all of that, so that's what I gotta know. But yeah, put yourself in the right room. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory. All right, here's the last one. We got anything else before we switch? Yes, sir, I think we're good to go. All right, here we go. Here's the last one because that's some of these tabs. This one is gonna be there's gonna be no, I'm gonna try to play the audio, but I don't think y'all gonna be able to hear it because the there's no like microphone good. for it. We're just gonna end up describing it afterwards anyway. It's all yeah, good. let me share the screen real quick. I should have kept sharing my screen and switched over. Here we go. Go, I'm almost there. Give me grace, y'all. All right, boom. Here we go. Okay. okay so we can't hear the audio, but yeah, so have it real quick for the listeners. I got you. I got you. Got you. Yeah. So it's a clip, right? So there's a young lady in the gym. She is about to do hip thrust. For those who don't know, hip thrust is a lower body exercise, particularly works for the glutes. Okay. You take a barbell, you put it across your lower lower pelvic hip complex, aka your hips, and you thrust upward while uh while supporting your upper body on a bench or some sort of, you know, you, you whatever. It's it's optional what you use to support yourself. But ultimately you're working on your glutes, right? So there's a gentleman that comes over. She's got what? What is this? 25. I think this is in kilograms though. So we're not gonna get into the math. She got at least hundred pounds on here. Uh she working. Okay. She's trying to trying to get her 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 hip thrust in. And the man comes over with a what is this thing called? A yoga mat. He's got a yoga mat in his hand and he is attempting to slide it under the young lady, basically telling her it will give her additional support. And long story short, he got fried. Uh <laughs> she came, he came over, tried to offer the, the her the cushion, you know, basically saying, like, hey, you know, keep your buns off the ground. And she was like, basically, it looked like, I, I mean, I couldn't hear the verbiage exactly, but it looked like she fried him. And basically, she was like, do I look like I need a, a yoga mat? And then she told the gentleman that she did not want it. And then she sent him away and then told him to take the yoga mat with him. Yeah, she let him know she does this all the time. I was going to say, too, you say in kilograms. Remember, Jordan and I are computer scientists, not engineers. We're not well versed in the metric system. <laughs> so this we're also I Americans do. as well. We also Americans well, this, as well. This is not the thing I know because it's because it is fitness. It is fitness. This is the, uh, listen, oh, yeah. so this is the only I know time. The, I know the fitness man, that, but I can't. Don't I know? Like you got to tell me it's in, it's in a weight room situation now. Don't just ask me like with ten kilograms. <laughs> <Yeah>. for <seven. laughs> I think only reason because I, I think I had to look. I'm pretty sure a kilogram is two point three pounds, right? So that's the it's, math. Yeah. So it's yeah, one. So it's, it's not it's, that far off. Yeah. One one kilogram is two point three. So it's. I, it's yeah. a, it's literally, I mean, it's a lot. It's like, it's almost, I mean, it's double than 0.3. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. So like, if you lift in, what is it? If it's 100 kilograms, that's what? That's 200 and, that's, that's like 230 now. pounds? Yeah. yeah. I just Roughly. know because we, we had kilograms like in our weight room in high school. And we just be like, ah, just throw the 10 kilograms. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know, you you measure, but you know, you know relatively how strong you are. You know, well, this feels like you know, this is like two hundred. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so we started doing math, math. Uh, not a, it was addition by subtraction. We started to do math by weight. You know, addition by weight. <laughs> by <laughs> how many? I can normally rep one thirty five ten times. Put the and I and I know what my body feels like <laughs> under under that type of stress. No, you right, you right, you right. <laughs> we was fourteen, fifteen. Okay, yeah. I want to be very clear. So, and we also American, by the way. Some of use that as the best excuse because they don't teach us a message system over here. What do we learn? What's it called? Uh, I was going to say Dewey Decimal. It's not the Dewey Decimal. Is it? It's decimal. Is it? Is it not decimal? It's not decimal. Yeah. Oh, Lord. We don't even know what I'm, our, yeah. our measure is. It's um, pounds, yeah. bro. We'll, that's, that's what we're talking about in terms of weight. Okay. Um, I think ours is in the imperial system. Okay. It's something that don't nobody else use. Oh, like don't worry about it. <laughs> All this talk, yeah, it's the imperial system. I'm looking at it right now. Don't put that type of pressure on us. First off, <laughs> let's be clear. You only know how tall you are and uh, how much you weigh, unless you're a rocket scientist or something like that. 
I, I don't we don't use these measurements stuff. That, that first off, I do things in yards to play football. Yeah. And, and yards are not even on either or, right? Because it's meters and, and feet. Man, that's like a hundred yards. It's like that's not no football field. I know you do the same thing. All right, anyway. Look, I will say the only re- only reason I attempted to start trying to learn this math is because when you start going to the gym gyms, like the when I say the okay, so people don't know gym, so. When I say gym gyms, we're not talking about your planet fitness. I'm not even talking about LA. All right. I'm talking about when you start going to the gyms where the minimum dumbbell is like 80 pounds and then they go up from there to like the 200s, right? When the, the people who do nothing but lift all day, bodybuilder style type gyms, that they, their stuff is usually in kilograms, right? When you get to the, the places where, you know, the <laughs> shout out to um, Hamilton, the room where it happens, right? For the fitness people, okay? It, it, they they everything is in kilograms so you kind of got to have an idea of what the conversion is or you mess around and and and, and die he needs some milk. you be like that okay <laughs> i'm telling you it's, it gets real real fast and then and and they have not only 45 kilogram plates but they have 55 kilogram plates so if you do the mm-hmm. math it's on double. that it's yeah double. you know what i'm trying to say like yeah. so when you shout out to the people who be like oh you know like uh I, you know it, it looks like <laughs> they're not lifting a lot of weight and they only got one of the big red plates on there nah bro do the do the conversion on that that's a lot of weight like you know what i'm saying so it's like it you know it, it's, it's different so people don't know our most gyms the, the common gyms playing the fitness the la fitness they got 45 pound plates you know what i mean these got they got 55 on the other and side of the yeah, yeah you know what i'm trying to say so it, it can get real real fast um but right, anyways, yeah. so what's, the, what's, gym etiquette, what's gym etiquette, Jordan? Should you or should you not do this? I, okay. I got before this, this before a, social media had a craze about all this stuff, give us your opinion and then do it after the social media had a craze about all this type of stuff. Okay. So before the social media I know you're craze, jaded. I know you're jaded. <laughs> I am. I am. I am. Because I was about to go in. Okay. So <laughs> before the social media craze, you gym etiquette is pretty much mind yours. I ain't even going to hold you. Uh, unless somebody is. So gym rules, right? If you're lifting by yourself, don't lift nothing that you can't lift, right? Set your station up. I'm, I'm just saying, these are gym rules. If you're lifting by yourself, don't lift, lift nothing that you can't lift. If you do, you know what I mean? Yeah, at least have enough, swallow your pride and ask for a spotter. If not, be prepared, you know, at least hope you're in a room where people, okay, so it's 2023. Everybody got headphones now, okay? That's the problem where you, when you start lifting and don't have a spotter, you assuming that I can hear you and I can't. Ow. I'm letting you know. Listen, I'm letting you know. This, this, I'm letting help, this you know. sounds like. Nothing because they have you know I mean? unless I like literally unless I'm facing you and I'm literally watching you die. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> there's you your your, your screams mean nothing to me, and I, it's because I literally cannot hear them. AirPods, gen, shout out to the Gen Three. They got that uh, was it spatial spatial audio now. I can't hear shit in the gym. Okay, and that's by choice because I don't want to. Okay, um, but bring it back. So gym etiquette, <laughs> you you mind your business. All right, if this lady is over here and she's doing her hip thrust, you allow her to do her hip thrust. She didn't ask for no help. She didn't ask for any cushion. Uh, I'm assuming if you are in here and you're doing hip thrusts, because I'm going to be honest with you, hip thrusts are not a common exercise, okay? That is, that, uh, I'm not saying that it's advanced, but it's also, you usually tend to know what you're doing if you're going to get under, put your 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 hips underneath over 100 pounds. You know what I mean? Yeah. Especially um, with a bar. Especially with a bar versus a dumbbell. If, if, exactly. I see you with, if I see you with a, a loose, a loose, you know, what is it? Uh, what's it called? Barbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, what's it called when, when it's not on the... Oh, a non-Smith machine. So free yeah, there we go. If I see you walking around with the bar, I assume, you know, either you're about to do something, you know, you think you freaking, uh, what's the guy from Star Wars or two? Uh, Darth Maul. Either you think you... <laughs> <laughs> Either you dark them all, or you know what you're doing. Because why are you out here with the bar? Mm-hmm. If I if I see you power cleaning or hand cleaning, yeah. So again, not not beginner level moves. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You know yeah. a little something about the gym. You've been here before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if I see so, you with the biggest plate, regardless of how how much it weighs, if I see you with the the largest size plate, the wombos out here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, or you about to be on the internet? This is. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like that's so that is that's proper gym etiquette. You leave that lady alone. You let her be great. You know what I'm saying? She want to run her her literally run her buns into the ground. I don't care what's underneath there. Let her do so. Okay. You mind your business. Um, even though I do, uh, I don't know. I watched bring it up. No, you don't bring it up. I'm, I'm rewinding the video in my head. He was a he wasn't super intrusive in the way he did it. But I do think it's inappropriate for you to if I if I want to make a suggestion to you, I would come over. One, not while you're about to do your set in between your, your rest, right? You don't, I don't care what, let's be very clear. I don't care if I got a suggestion for you, something, you know, I'm watching you do something wrong. You don't interrupt somebody's set, okay? You let them finish what they're doing. I don't care if you're doing it wrong. Let them finish what they're doing, right? And then you come over and you make a suggestion. My man's came over with the mat and then literally physically tried to slide it underneath her. It looks like before she's, before she's about to start. 
So that's that's a violation before the gym craze and after the gym craze. That's a violation, period, right? You don't you don't touch me while I'm underneath weight. You feel me? That's just a that's that's a violation in general, right? If you want to make a suggestion with the yoga mask, you say, hey, you know, young lady, um, I, I you know, I think this you, you'd be more comfortable under, under yoga mat, but I'm not bringing you one over. I might point to him and say, hey, they over there. You can go get you one because we got to. Uh, so bringing it back to now I'm going to act at the gym craze. Right. So you equality. Ladies want the ladies want equality everywhere, but you you don't want to. I feel like sometimes they don't want it in the gym. <laughs> you want it some places, but you don't want it in the gym. I, I, I don't I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it. it I'm going to tell you where the yoga mats are if I say anything at all. I'm going to tell you where they are. I'm going to point over there and tell you to go get, take your ass over there and get one. And if you decide not to, you decide not to. I'm not bringing it over and literally trying to lift your bum up to stick it underneath. That's not, no. The only person I'm doing that for is my wife. And she's still going to look at me like I'm crazy. Like, boy, I've been, I, you know what I'm saying? I do this. If I wanted a mat, I'd have got one. You know what I'm saying? And that's my wife. Like, you know what I'm saying? So if I wouldn't, if I would barely do that to her during her hip thrust, what makes you think I'm going to do this to a stranger? So he violated on that behalf. Now, Bringing it back because she she not gonna get away scot free. I'm going in on my man's right now, but she's not gonna get away scot free. It's no reason for her to fry that man like that. He's uh, he's <laughs> I don't know if he's trying to spit game or you know what I mean. It, it, it might be a combination of both. He might be trying to spit game. He might genuinely be trying to help her, but at the same time, you could just turn that man away. You ain't. I, I'm pretty sure she said some very unkind things. Again, I couldn't hear the audio directly, but I'm pretty sure she was like, "Hey, get get the, get the hell on." You know what I mean? It, it didn't. It was just yeah. She was dismissive. Yeah. Based, based off of her facial expressions, I could tell she was going in a little bit. You know what I mean? Uh, and that tends to be the case, I think, for a lot of these type of situations where, where men get recorded trying to assist women on camera in the gym, or even if they're just looking at a, a woman in the gym. You could you could look at it. It's crazy, man. And I'm I'm a trainer, so I'm telling you this, right? I record stuff in the gym. If you look at me while I'm recording, I could give two fucks okay I'm, I'm just i can get two fucks it don't it i'm in the gym and i got a camera if you're gonna stare at me you're gonna say clearly i'm i'm recording something that i want people to see i'm not offended by you watching me do it you know what i'm saying while you're here let me give you my at name so you can go like it on instagram when i post it you know what i'm saying i i don't get offended that's just me i'm expecting you know you to look this way because i'm i'm doing something that's worth in my head that's worth recording and i'm not recording nothing that's in less than three plates you know what i'm saying so <laughs> that being the case i you know we we I'm moving something over here. I, I I don't I don't mind you looking at me. I don't understand why ladies get so offended when people look at them in the gym. We are in a public area for, for fitness. I'm going to look. You know what I'm saying? I was going to look regardless whether you had the camera or not. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I can't look at it in real life, but when you post on the internet, I can watch it as much as I want. Exactly. You are gonna post this at the end of the day anyway. You you gonna pop up in my real section because all I shout out to the algorithm. All I watch is people deadlifting all day anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, oh, you're more goodness. than likely to show up in my real section anyway. So you might as well let me look at it in person. I don't understand. And it's like, ladies, ladies, I'm telling you this, and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna turn it over to Corey because I want I want him to throw his two cents in there too. But ladies. I'm gonna tell you this in the most respectful way possible. Just because we are looking at the gym, looking at you in the gym does not mean that we want you. I'm sorry. I know that's what you think. If that's how <laughs> I know y'all, y'all egos be telling, oh, here come, here he come, staring me down, girl. He all oh, he wants some of it. I'm trying to one, some of y'all be doing some egregious stuff in the gym. It's nuts. Some of y'all really be in there. I'm trying to make sure you're not about to die. Literally, literally. Like, and not, not to be, but it's like, okay. Yeah, okay. I, okay. I just see some stuff. I just see some. You know what I mean? I'm, tra I'm traumatized. I've I've seen where this I've seen this gone left and right, and For neither sure. of those are good. <laughs> that bar so supposed to go up and down. That bar really? supposed to go up. <laughs> it's got a, it's got a rebound. Yeah. It's got a rebound. You about to be in there like? Fatality. All right. <laughs> That's about to be you if you don't get your form together. The problem is most people don't work on the fundamentals in the gym and then they come in there and then they want to show out or they want to film and they want to do large weight and it's like bro if you don't got your perfect example squat i'm always going to use squat as an example shout out to the lower body right if you don't got your your leg placement right it's all about leg placement and bar pads with squat and form and uh diaphragmic breathing right so if you don't know i can tell right off the jump before why you setting up whether this is about to be a successful squat or not two I'm in the gym every day. I go to the same spots all the time. If I ain't never seen you in here before and you come in here trying to throw on three plates, oh, yeah. <laughs> you about to die. Like, I don't, and I, I'm not telling you that you can't do it, you know, because some people come and visit, but very rarely do you see a new person come in the gym and start throwing on ridiculous amounts of weight. You know what I mean? Gym goers, most gym goers are consistent, right? The same people that was in here yesterday are going to be the same people that's in here tomorrow. You know what I mean? Uh, if I've never seen you in here before because I go to the gym, shout out, 
to consistency, discipline, I go to the gym the same time, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I teach classes the same time on Mondays and Wednesdays. You know what I mean? I run for the most part the same times on Fridays and Sundays. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if I don't see you in these streets, you probably don't do this. So please don't get out here and talk about you about to run a seven minute mile or you about to squat 315 pounds. Good luck. Again, I'm going to watch because I want to make sure you, you know what I mean? I, I prefer not to see death during my workout. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> you meet it, bro. We can't hear you. But... <laughs> I got you. Got you. <laughs> I prefer not to see that during my workout. Okay. So yes, I'm going to look ladies. We do not want you. Sometimes we just trying to make sure you're going to be okay. Um, we're trying to make sure you're going to get your form right. And y'all need to stop doing crazy stuff in the gym. It's okay. It's okay to do the basics in the gym. You should not, I don't want to say you should not, but most people ain't doing 400 pound hip thrust in the gym. You know what I mean? You can do it, but it, it, it probably, you probably could do more with less, right? And what I mean by that, take the weight down, slow and control. People don't know that there are, um, I had drawn a blank. I was about to drop one of my fitness turns on y'all. There are small uh, tune-ups that you can make to the exercise to make it harder without le- necessarily throwing on a whole, huge amount of weight, right? Um, dang. Y'all can be like, dang, Jordan, you don't do this. I've said this and I've, hold on, let me. I've already said this before. I've already said this before. Okay, there is a term that you can use and it starts with the I, if I remember correctly, that is slipping my mind right now where you can use it to make, do you remember it, Corey? I know I said it before. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> there's a, there's no, I'm a fel- you think y'all think I know everything. Y'all don't say when you don't know something. That's why you really be screwed. I don't know. <laughs> I'm leaving this answer blank unless it's the SATs. No, I mean, I mean, if it's not the SAT, I'm leaving it blank. Like, I'm, I guess it. Gosh, I'm, it's literally, I'm going to be mad. I'm going to look at it. I'm, I'm all weightlifting is is gravity. And so all you need to do is make something so it's just harder for you exactly. to shout out the Dragon Ball Z. Literally, a shout right. out to the hyperbolic time chamber. It's a reason why they go yeah. in there. I mean, not even that. Just what's the what's the joint called where they go in there? No, nah, that's like, the hyperbolic time chamber where they train for a day but, and they get a year's yeah. worth. I yeah. can't whatever the thing bone made. Capsule I don't know. It's fake. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. capsule, yeah. It's the fake, so I can't remember the name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like something we use, you know what I mean? I just know they can turn up times ten, times a hundred, yeah. times a thousand. Like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like they'll be in there. Goku, with- Goku's on the way to Namek. You know what I mean? He's in there preparing to turn super saiyan. He didn't know that. By the way, Goku watched his best friend get blown up in front of him. That's wild. Hey, I probably would right, be. Some, hey, some of y'all need to go through something to reach your final. <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, hold on. Look. Oh, dang. The amen ain't on here either. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, get to this time with it. Y'all don't, y'all don't want to go through the struggle, but yet y'all be talking about all this anime crap. Well, one thing people go through in anime is pain. Listen, Shout listen, out man. to Gohan when Cell stepped on Android 16's face dead in front of him. By the way, his crazy. dad was already dead. His dad was already dead. <laughs> yeah, bro. People really be getting done dirty. Early on in anime too, like hey, I, yeah. Oh my goodness! I shout out to this. So I'm, I'm gonna throw a more recent one. Shout out to Demon Slayer, bro. My yeah. man got his whole family got sliced up on episode one. All of them, every every single one. He got four, <laughs> he had four brothers and sisters. All of them dead. His mom and his dad. Episode one. It's only a 22 minute show without commercials. <laughs> all right, all of them did. One of them turned into halfway turned into a demon. And he had to put her in a box. Okay, like it's it's crazy. Anyways. Anime people be going through some shit. If y'all didn't know, all right, it gets real off jump. You know what I mean? That's how the transformations and the power of friendship overcome everything. But they got to go through some shit first. All right, y'all need to go through y'all shit. You do. I think Krillin <laughs> said, "Help me, Goku." You know what I mean? Like <laughs> <laughs> as he was levitating into the air. Dude. Yeah, it's freezes. But we looking like, oh, freeze about. You know they don't. You know you like freeze about to get him up out of here, ain't he? <laughs> listen, 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 listen. Hold on, I got, I got a question though. So now we get, now we get t- tangent. Go ahead, right? go ahead. How did Frieza? instantly blow krillin up but he never had that power again since when because he didn't shoot no kai blast or nothing he he yeah, literally like, raised yeah. him into the air and expanded his hand and he blew up when when did i was about I to say some words I, when did people start doing that <laughs> i think he uh i think it's a it's a strength thing so it might have been because krillin was so you know because they they like everybody already get the ass kicked but i think it's because he was so weak that he was just able to do whatever move he did on him to no. cause that to happen because i know you was asking too about why didn't uh go ten and trunks have tails yeah so, uh, so okay that was my next question so i see that's a shout out to twitter yo because i was just thinking the other day yeah oh there's the, a whole the simple thing. answer is they're not 100 percent, and so they just didn't hit the lottery on it right mm-hmm. that that's that's the you know i mean it's not if it's not 100 percent chance it's going to occur then you know you wouldn't get it the so second you said, okay is a recessive gene is that what it oh, that's, what, that's not that's not what recessive gene means the second <laughs> The second thing is, where's your wife at? Because I know she knows this type of stuff, right? <laughs> Isn't this her job? <laughs> but the second thing is Toriyama, rest in peace. He did give an answer, and he said it was a, he he said it was a recessive trait. But that's not how recessive traits work. <laughs> that's not how they work. Meaning, like you have a lower chance of getting them. Don't ask me. Right, right. Don't right. ask me. I, I look. I only took biology twice. 
anyways, and it was, you know, I, look. That, then, was like, that, that was a whole thing about, about, Go, yeah. about Gohan's un- potential power, right? Is that power. he was running around yeah. with the tail for the first, like, what? Whole mm-hmm. first part of DBZ, right? Like, he, tra- he transformed, right? Yeah. He, he did, did, early on. Yeah, he yeah, he transformed. Yeah. Here, here's my simple logic. They, I, 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 in short, everyone, you know, Go, Gohan, Go, Goku, Vegeta, they all transformed. He wasn't going to have them transform. So why, you know what I mean? What, what do they need the tail? You know what I mean? Because, you know, because you know what happens when they have the tail. The tail has to get cut off. If I'm not yeah. going to ever, if I'm not going to ever use the tail, you know what I mean? The tail has one purpose. For sure. For sure. For fear, sure. fear. And then they got transformed to the grade eight. And they never going to do that from a writing standpoint. Why? You know, I mean, this, this, this is a thing. You know what I mean? Like he had to, he's got to write it in there. And then also too, they, like I said, they get the tail. When are you going to cut it off? Because I mean, they can't look at the full moon. And, you yeah. know, Go- Goten is slow. He's going. He go, yeah, he definitely got to look up. He's definitely going to look at the full moon. Yeah, him and Kid Trunks, they, they, they definitely. Yeah. Some, yeah. Trunks is okay, but Goten's like Goku. Like, you know, Gohan's like Chi Chi, but like Goten is like, you know, he's on the. He's Kid on Trunks the, just to pull up, just to prove a point. He's going to look yeah, up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you got, then you got Trunks. Yep, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trunks is Vegeta's son. Trunks yeah. is the prince of all this. And if Vegeta's the king, technically, Trunks is the prince. Then, you know, you know, and his mom, there is the richest family on all of Earth. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Yeah, Bomba, like shout out to Bomba. Bomba do just be coming out with the shit. And she's, a, she's the smartest person. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, that's Trunks. But I also, I just think that, yeah, if they're not going to use it, then, you know, why write it in? And I think they said at one point in time, I can't remember the guy's name, but uh, the shorter, small, the one who cut off Vegeta's tail when mm-hmm. he went to grade eight, he had, I think he uh, asked Bomba, like, what, you know, where's Trunks' tail at? And she didn't directly answer, but they were saying, like, she sort of hinted that it got cut off. Okay. So, gotcha. I think the simplest thing to do, I'm pretty sure. I don't think you see when Trunks is born, but I think you can see. I think they show when Goten is born, and yeah. it's very simple. If the tail, you know, yeah, they just you know what I mean, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just so, thought it was interesting because then. So, if you get, have you watched Super yet? I know we nah, don't watch all of it. Nah, yeah, man, you good? Yeah. When they do the tournament of power and they start introducing the the other universe, the alternate they universe, they got tails, and I was like, mm-hmm. I was like, dang, why they why they rhyme my man? Especially if they start in the you know they bring in. So with the movie, right? Again, the super movie, they starting to bring Goten and Trunks, you know, because now they're teenagers back into the spotlight. It's like, dang, it'd be nice for them to, you know, to have kept their tails and possibly have mastered it. Because it, it, it just makes it sound like they, because they are the the, the half sands, right? That they have this potential to, you know, maybe, I was like, maybe yeah, they, they can master they can, to control it, right? You yeah, know what I mean? They can, they can get stronger. That's what they told right. Again, this is all fake. This is what they told us. You know what I mean? <laughs> This is all based off of you know yeah, fictional yeah, logic. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, so they have higher potential. Or no, I don't think they can get stronger. They can scale. They scale faster. That's why. Gotcha. That's why Gohan was able to get us uh, turn Super Saiyan so fast. And then Trunk, Trunks and Goten, they they were just doing it like it was a light switch. Remember, Trunks were just sitting there jumping up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> turning just it turning on. on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's so I, I I would have been interested. That would have been very cool to explore. Because remember when Vegeta first came to Earth and he hit the whole fake moon, so he created a moon. Remember, mm-hmm. he created a what? fake moon. Dragon Ball, I don't care if I say it. it's the greatest of all time. <laughs> Bro created the moon and then transferred it into a, into the Great Eight, right? And then was able it still was cognizant, you know, because most of them lose their consciousness. Yeah, they, yeah. And stuff. Vegeta was having full on conversations with Goku, like, yeah, nah, you about to catch his work, and they start slinging him around like a like you know what I mean, <laughs> like silly putty. So <laughs> if Vegeta could do that, I would love to see what like Trunks could do and go. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that's the next level, right? Yeah. So, you know. Vegeta might be a little bit different though, because remember he is in the he, you know, he's the king of Prince. You know, you yeah, know, he's yeah. he's at the top of the top for the bloodline. Okay. You know, he, his, his genetics aren't messed up. Let's you know, say, remember, yeah. Goku's like a rodent. You know, and then Broly was that has the most potential. You know, yeah. yeah. They sent him away. Yeah, yeah <laughs> they they got him out of there. <laughs> he he go. he yeah, he's got to go. He's gonna mess up everything. Yeah, <laughs> on, on the wrong side. You know, Goku was just like just send him to Earth so he can figure it out. Or Okay, you know what I mean? Like it was like, uh, you know, Bard out and you know, shout out to Freezer, you know, came and killed everybody. But you Listen, know, we got look, you got to catch up. I ain't gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. First. I'm I'm way behind. I'm way, got I'm way, way behind. Freezer got a whole other form, bro. Whole other one. I know. I, I've, other. You know, I see the Twitter stuff. So I and I've seen them when they were fighting together, and he came back when he was because he, they haven't he, they haven't wished him back to life yet. So he's still dead, right? Tec- I saw him when he's fighting he, with the Halo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He technically in the tournament of power. He yeah, he was still mm-hmm. dead. Yeah, yeah. I, I just know because you know my my friends. No, he got, he got another one after that. That's what after talking. after yeah. the gold form. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In the, yeah, yeah. In the, in the main. That's on, that's on the yeah. god. That's on the god level, right? The blue one. Is that what that's supposed to be? It like, nah. This one is. This one is. This one. Nah. This one's black. The oh. little is a little one called Black Freezer. And no, I'm saying his his power level is supposed to be even with their blue form. What with the gold one? Yeah. No, yeah. the one above the gold one. Nah, he's, yeah, he's the gold he's, ones with blue. 
Oh, ones with blue. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, yeah the black the, one about that. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 I, my like, and the in the arc, I, again, the, there's an arc. So there's an arc after there's two arcs after the ones they already made the, the anime mm-hmm. for, right? And that one, when he shows up, it's the equivalent of so he gets a black form when he goes into the hyperbolic time chamber. So he gets into the hyperbolic time chamber, pops Who out. let him in the hyperbolic time chamber? Bro, don't ask these questions. I don't know. He got in the hyperbolic time chamber, popped out, came out with the black form. He one shots the uh ultra instinct, which is the, the white hair form. And uh-huh. then Vegeta gets a new form and one shots both of them at the same time and they KO. I was like, oh no. I was like, oh no. <laughs> they're, not, they're gonna make them probably fuse together or bro. It's, it's gotta be. Mean, it's gotta be because because they, they haven't even shown Vegeta's uh ultra ego form yet, which is where he basically loses. He goes, he gets the Super Saiyan 3, no eyebrow joint, mm-hmm. and his hair turns purple. So that's his that's okay, his new form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think what they're gonna do. Cause remember, growing up, it was like you know, it's Super Saiyan. You know, everyone lies about all this anime they watched growing up. Like we had yeah. access to it in America. It's crazy. You watch Sailor Moon, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Dragon Ball Z. That's that's it all is. that was on. Unless you grew up in Hawaii, like my brother did, and you had access to that type of stuff. Because right. yeah, it's over there. I so I'm tired of y'all lying about all this other type of stuff and just disrespect <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Gets show me your PlayStation Two or your PlayStation games that you have that are anime based. Because I still got my never mind. Anyways, yeah. I still got my Budokai Two on my PlayStation. All, all three on my PlayStation Two. Memory stick. So Man, I got if y'all, I got the PlayStation. Remember yeah. what was it? GBZ Ultimate Fighter Twenty Two, where it was all yeah. still in Japanese. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah. I had that one. You know what yeah. I mean? so I'm telling everybody. Like yo, I, I was in I was in elementary school talking about the Dragon Ball Z stuff. Y'all wasn't yeah. talking about it, so I don't know why everybody now. Like I know y'all watching. You know y'all. I know what y'all do. Cause I do it too with other shows. You binge watch them, right. and then you got all the information that one. For sure, for sure, for sure. Which I wasn't talking about. We, we watched it live in elementary school, and for he sure. was waiting for Goku to transform for a year. Bro, okay, that, was, <laughs> that was crazy. Wait, shout out to them, so. shout out to them revising that now, where they yeah. were, they made Kai and they took all that stuff out. Bro, it was nuts. It's, it was it's nuts. faster, yeah. But I was saying, my friends have been telling me though, because they watch it. They told me that Jiren is is like. It's unreal. Like they didn't even like they didn't hurt him. Like you know what I mean. Like he, you know, this is my first one. I'm like, you know, they said like it had to like ring. Crazy. They had to ring out Jiren. That's the thing. It took three. It was three on one, and they yeah, had to sack yeah. Him. yeah, they still didn't beat him. They just had to knock him out the ring, and that's how they won. Like it, that technicality. Yeah. yeah. Well, look. If Chi Chi didn't mess up Gohan, we wouldn't have this conversation. But nobody wants to talk to me about that. Okay. That's why they brought him back in the last movie. But I'm just saying. Okay. You know what I mean? Gohan is a dog. All right. Regardless, okay. though, since we got on a tangent for 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> from like, the, for you guys who are still listening, thank you. We appreciate it. <laughs> Shout out to our animation. We, we over an hour in. This is your first time listening. This is how, if we over an hour in, this is what's going to happen. Because right. we're going to eventually bring up something off topic. But anyways, though, from the fitness standpoint, as we wrap up, let me say this. And this is how I am in the gym. This is before and after. One, I do have the experience, as you were saying, like you see, don't see somebody in the gym. When I used to go to the military base when I was in college, and I was still like, I still relative to my strength that I had in high school, so I could still bench like, not bench, squat like, you know, over three hundred pounds. Right. So you know, I'm working my way up there, like I like, you know, two seventy five, something like on there. And you know, the, the retired people come over and looking like, you know, because I'm like, you know, one hundred and thirty pounds, and I could, you know, I could squat, you know, two times over two times my weight. Right. But I was right. like, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, I'm gonna rip it out. So, but it's like, leave me alone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I've, I've been I've been five or six years, but that's understandable though, because I would I would too. You know, I'm like, if I saw somebody my size, like, I don't know if you might. And then, and they always like three of them, and they're big swole guys. And they see I repped it. I didn't one rep. No, I didn't yeah. one one time. And so I was like, yeah, you know, I I used to do this. You know what I mean? I just lift weights. But also too, when you're seeing from the men's perspective, women work out, or anybody in general when you're staring, sometimes y'all ass is taking too long, and. I, you were in the gym before me doing whatever you're doing. And so I'm like, well, at least, you know, I'm, and I see you sweating. So I'm like, and I'm trying to probably use the machine that you're on <laughs> or the way you got dumbbells. I'm trying to do what you're doing. And, you know, you, you're using the last of it. You know, there's only one of it, whatever it is. You know, the biggest example is, this, you know, treadmills or, or you know, electricals or whatever, which, you know, those are always usually taken at prime time. But it's like sometimes you're using or the machine or the weight that I want to do. And I'm just, I'm just trying to admit, you know, because there's no like, there's etiquette, but, you know, there's, there's no list. So I'm just trying mm-hmm. to, I'm trying yeah. to. We get over there first yeah if, if we hovering we we hovering for a reason we don't we don't want you we want the machine yeah because I, I know you probably see but i see it too you know i you know you you, you know when someone's waiting for you is as soon as soon as you wipe it down as soon yeah. as you wipe it down they're walking they, over yeah, they, yeah. Right, they right on it i'm <laughs> like okay and that's where it's like you know the, the if people weren't like this but like simple etiquette would be you just let someone like hey you know how many sets you got left and then so they can be right there waiting for because I, you know, I knew you probably might either, but I wouldn't mind you if you just stood there and waited for me, you know, because you know, some people are probably different, but you can sit here and watch me work out until I'm done. And also, yeah. too, if I know you know the gym's not busy, I'll work out faster because we're yeah. not in finally fit classes. I'm taking my good old time. <laughs> Listen, 
Or it's even one of those things like if you if I again because I go to the same gym and I see a lot of the same people. If you are on par with what I'm doing, I, I'll even ask you if you want to work just, in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but see, people, people, that's like, that's why we that's why we're behind. And I'm not yeah. talking about black people. I'm talking about that's why we're behind because <laughs> you can't even the best form, right? You know, communication is the most important thing. And it's like, hey, you know how much faster it would be because you know this is working out with sports. It's like if if everybody had to do their whole set, you yeah. know, and then like the next, you work out three or four people in a group. Yeah, we, we don't, sure. in 45 minutes we can work out the whole football team literally literally yeah, yeah we don't I, see, that's <laughs> the we, we rotating in between <laughs> people don't know that people don't know that yeah yeah, yeah. 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 people talk, always try to clown people's high school experience this is right. your issue y'all didn't experience nothing right. there are 80 people in here and we're about to work out everybody in under an hour across three squat racks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah yeah we got four or five squat racks and oh there's three God. people in a group and we about to you know, i do mine and then i get my break and then my teammate goes, and then I go again, right? Then that, that's it. And then, you don't realize your break is limited to the two people in front of you. If, hey, you, if, they, yeah. if you got 225 on there and they knock their 10 rounds out in 35 seconds, and guess you, what? Your ass is up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and by the way, coaches, coaches got a time for each you know, exercise that you're doing, and then you're on to the next one. But y- y'all don't even know, y'all don't know that. So then in the gym where you could, in the gym, you know, people spend a lot of time in the gym, you might be able to get out probably an, a whole hour early. If you just, you know, found some people that you have roughly the same, you know, uh, strength as, and y'all came around the same time if you could, and y'all just worked out together. But no, now you got to sit here and wait, and I got to watch you do your, I don't even know what you're doing because you just been in here. So I don't even know what set of rep you on. <laughs> I don't even know if you just making it up because you just did the three, but then you did it, then you did four, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, there, I don't <laughs> Yeah, but sometimes it's just like the, the experience and lack of etiquette, and people, you know, now, you know, as men, you got to worry about, you know, getting that law and order, law and order SVU situation put on you. But it's like, my goodness, sometimes it's like, I'm just trying to use this, you know, or I might be just trying to use the weights, not even exercise. Like, you might have, you know, the plates are limited, right, as well. So, you know, I, I might be trying to get, you know, these 245s you got on there real quick, things like that. Yeah. That people don't understand. And usually, you know, also, you know, working out too in sports. I, let me just use these. I'll I'll take your forty five off and do something real quick while you're taking your break and then, and then put literally, it back on. Literally, like I I literally yeah. just need to wait for thirty seconds. Yeah, you know 30 what I'm seconds. I, your break. I need it for your break. That's it. We'll, we'll we switch off that way. But you know, you in the gym, you would never, you know, you would never be able to do that with a random person. That you might you might get kicked out trying That's to take it. their weight. People so. be people be so overly sensitive. Like you said, communication is key in all aspects of life, but it's particularly in this situation. It's just like yo. This whole situation could have been avoided if he just said something from across the room. Then she got her, she got her video going. Now you on tape, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? It just, it, yeah, it's it's a whole situation. You could have yelled from across the room like, "Hey, do you need a match?" She just said no. You kept on minding your business and she gone about her, gone gone on about her day. You know what I'm saying? No offensive words thrown. Everything good. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have walked up to. Her. I, yeah. I don't. When I'm at the gym, I don't talk to people. Listen, if you're taking if you're taking all day, I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> And that, that was before all the social media stuff. Now I'm in and out. If, if I if you I you know you can take as long as you want. And the treadmills weren't taking all day yesterday, but somebody was in there before. I and they were already on the treadmill. And then when I left, they were still on. And I'm just like, see, yeah. you can run your you know your 60 minute. But I'm just like, my goodness. And you know it's different if you're running. You know you're walking on the you know, the hill, which no knock. But it's like you when you extrapolate that to multiple people in a busy time in the gym. Some of y'all be take. Some of y'all need to get to the point where you can run. Okay, Listen. I know you like the resistance when you walk and you're going up the, the incline a little bit, but you <laughs> that ain't you burning. No, let, me <laughs> let me stop. Uh, listen, I'm you can save I'll, yourself thirty minutes if you just start running. I will say this is the, it's the difference between working out and training. Remember we talked about this. I mm-hmm. go into the gym with a plan. I can tell you. I mean, shout out to Finally Fit. I can tell you exactly how long the workout is going to be. I'm talking about warm up to cool down. Like you know what I mean? Like the. If, Everything I'm like that even with my, my personal strength training, and you can't people can't even stop me now in the gym. Like if, even if we have one machine, like perfect example, you you get on there and you got the only squat rack. Okay, cool. Where the dumbbells at? You know what I mean? Right. Goblet squats. You know what I mean? Where's the resistance bands at? You know what I mean? Well, I, I will make it work. I know enough about the subject now where I got three other exercises that'll work out them same muscle groups if you are on the machine. So it's like it's right. also like if you really care about your craft, you expand your knowledge and you figure out how to work away, work around things like that. Because I don't have time. A lot of times I'm on I am in let's be very clear. I am at the gym during my lunch break. I have one hour. I have to get there, change clothes, work out, shower, change clothes back and get back to work in 60 minutes. So you take your time if you want to. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll be right next to you and my me and my 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 dumbbell vertical in a vertical position getting these <laughs> these goblet squats in. All right. So oh. Yeah, so I would say this. I always say, let them die. Don't don't talk to people in the gym if you don't know them. This this was kind of wild, Hardy. Well, I I think this is fake too, because I'm like, 
why would you walk up to her? And as even if you like say you're doing it wrong, why would you go get them? You gotta go get the mat. And it's premeditated. You gotta go get the mat. <clears throat> and he's trying to put it under. Yeah. Nah, I don't know he's, about that. He's definitely violating. Is, is he? Yeah. I, think, I, I think it was a, a pass gone wrong, right? You thought she was about to be feeling you and she wasn't. Like, yo, the real talk. I was feeling you. <laughs> you was a mo- let me stop. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you leave these ladies alone in the gym for real. They, I, I, what I've learned. If a lady is feeling you should be feeling you when her workout is over, does that make sense? If you, if you, I, and that's real game. I go to the gym enough. I'm, I'm, I'm married. So I ain't spending game in the gym. But I if you say, what do you, what do you mean? You know, be very clear. If, if you want to spit, if you want to rap to somebody, you can rap to them when their workout is over. You know what I mean? And they'll still be receptive, right? You don't got to go over there and disrupt whatever they got going on. If they feeling you, they feeling you. If they not, they not. Chances are they just probably already scoped you out anyway if they were feeling you. And they, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can have that engagement, but nobody wants to get their workout interrupted. Again, they're probably on the same time front you are. I'm assuming if you're here at 12 o'clock, you got 60 minutes too. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so I might just have to, you know, hit you in passing and, you know, maybe we get the number and I, I you know, we I will holler at you later on, but I, I don't have time to interrupt your workout and I don't have time to interrupt my own. So it's it's follow follow the code, bros. Follow the code. You don't, don't be out here violating, okay? Yeah. Or you'll get embarrassed. Hmm? Yeah. And how many people... Like, Whatever, but you stop being hypersensitive too. Like, don't nobody want y'all. Like, hey, we man. do, but we don't. Like, <laughs> I don't. See, but you, you see, the, you see the camera up, y'all. Do not, do not go over there. Because <laughs> it's different. It's different when it's first started. You know, it's like you know. But now you, I know you know. Now you should be aware of the situation. Yeah. It's like, man, I'm just you know, I be getting not scared, but it's like y'all just next to the weights I'm trying to get. So like, yeah. I'm just, I'm not, you know, cause when you're working out, you know, you don't want to see something in your peripheral cause you know, you get, you worry about your spatial situation. So I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to get these dumbbells real quick, but you're working out like right next to them. Yeah. So I'm just trying think, to, you know, get these weights. The problem is that when people had the camera up, they're just so entitled and it's like you, us. Mm. Okay. So people who record, cause I'm, I'm in this group, right? You have to realize that people are going to walk past you. You do not own the space because you have a video camera going. You know what I'm trying to say? That's why they're, they're actually working on rules right now where they're trying to outlaw recording in gyms. Gyms, gyms. I never. Do the stuff like this, right? It's like, so y'all messing it up for the rest of us who don't really give a damn. I don't care if you walk. Let me be very clear. Please just don't walk during my set. If you see me with 400 pounds on my back and you know I'm about to hit this joint one time and come back up, please just don't walk while I'm in the middle of this one squat because it's going to take all the energy God gave me to get it down and get it back up without dying. All right. Other than that, and I, I will do my best to do a 360 before I even start so I can time it. You know what I mean? Just in case you do got to come through and get your weight or do whatever it is you need to do by the squat rack, right? But it's just being being kind, again, communicating with one another, right? If you see me about to, you know, get this actual set in, don't mind. Anything else, I can trim out. I don't care. You know what I mean? If I'm on break, walk through. If I'm not, if I'm not even, you know, under the literally under the weight, walk through. You know what I mean? I don't care if I'm racking it, walk through. You know what I mean? So just just be kind to one another, and you can avoid a lot of these situations. I'm yeah. wrapping up. We good. Yeah, now you good. Say I'll knock the phone down. You get too smart with me. This is <laughs> like this. You probably like me. Everything on your your whole life is on the cell phone. I bet you ain't backed it up recently. <laughs> you, and, and I know you. Yeah, I know you drive. I know you're yeah, paying the nine ninety nine for the for the hundred gigs. Look, you feeling froggy? I bet you're gonna be pissed if I drop this weight on your phone. <laughs> Oh, it, is, it is. I don't know if you saw that. Was it Chris? The Chris Brown video where he threw somebody's phone. Yep. Man, this why I don't let people touch my phone. It's so much stuff on there. It I wouldn't know what to do. I wouldn't know. Yeah. To, I wouldn't know. I, know to do. I, I run an. Ent- I can run an entire day off my cell phone. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I, yeah especially now too. I need it for work. My dad's make fun. You know, you always need your phone. It's like when well, I need to sign in. So, but That's literally, crazy. yeah. Shout out to Windows Authenticator. You know what I mean? It's, it's like I, I need it for my job. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. But all right. Do you have anything else? I'm sorry, I think we're good to go. All right, locked and loaded. End of the episode. But I mean, come on now. If y'all watch this whole thing, y'all hitting that like button, share and subscribe. Shout out to the YouTube algorithm on the podcast platforms as well. Leave those rate and reviews. Now, Jordan. Yes, sir. If people are trying to, I forget what I used to say. If people don't want to be in the 70, whatever, 75% overweight obese category, what can people do? I can check us out on Instagram at stop. Well, check me out specifically at Stop Stalling J. That's S T O P S T A L L I N G J A Y on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Well, probably not TikTok because I'm about to get involved there. You, that's all another subject. But uh, <laughs> you can check me out. Uh, check our business page out at Finally Fit Zero Six. That's F I N A L L F I T Zero Six. Website is www.finallyfit.live or live, whatever your preference is. We might change it to live. I mean, it's one of those ones where you know it's the same word anyway. But you know, I was like, live kind of goes with the fitness thing. Anyways, look us up. All right, we on there. You can check us out for sixty dollars a month. You can join our online fitness class where we teach classes on Mondays and Wednesdays at five thirty. You can come join us and get 
this work in with the fit fam it also comes with a monthly check-in with yours truly where we set up goals set up milestones so you can hit your goals as well as access to our virtual libraries and i am now guess what I don't know if I was doing this before, but now I'm officially offering macros. Okay. So what we do is we come in, we, you know, it's aligned with your goal. We actually sit here and run the numbers. All right. For those who don't know what macros are, proteins, carbs, and fats, we get into the inner workings of what you are consuming daily. And we try to find the caloric value values to help you get to where you're trying to go. All right. So you're trying to lose weight. We create a deficit. You're trying to gain muscle. We create a surplus. That's my job to know that stuff, not yours, but come see us. All right. Now, Corey. If I want to get my budget together and, you know, get my, my peers up to the point where they can loan me 10 to 15 K <laughs> be in those rooms, how can I do oh, so? Well, you need to, you need to have a high earning income skill. If you have 10 to 15, if you want to do that, that's what you need to do. So if you don't make a lot of money, that's what you, I, hey, you know, I, I do, you know, we started out, I try my best not to tell people like, you got to make more money, but inflation was, you know, 10% of, you know, that's not, that's not the, the state of the economy was not at where it's at right now. So y'all need to go make some more money. But no, again, I'm Zylon underscore Corey, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Then all my information is in the show notes on YouTube, as well as my link tree, um, as well for financial coaching sessions. And then Jordan's information is there as well. And I was going to say you spell finally fit without a Y the first time. Yeah. <laughs> said F-I-N-A-L-L-F-I-T. <laughs> you got the Y. Finally, y'all. Finally, y'all. Already... <laughs> now, I was going to say, are you, you're not doing the in-person training, right? No, sir, not at this time. Okay, you're good. I just want to make sure so I'm doing the Wealth Wednesdays that I remember it is. I said I stopped saying it, but I was like, let me ask him. So he's just doing the Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then the, the macros. Okay. Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. Boom. Do you have anything else? Sir, I think we're good to go. All right, y'all. End of the episode. As always, if you guys have any questions, concerns, you can DM us, leave comments, email us, Corden, nfe at gmail.com. Again, all of this is in the show notes as well on YouTube. Reach out to us and we will queue up any topics that you guys have that you want us to discuss. Remember, we discuss health, wealth, finance, and fitness, but everything in between, which is why we have the podcast file, so we're not lying. We ain't here. Even though this is the finance and fitness one. Shout out to Dragon Ball Z. All right. <laughs> All right. You good? I think we're good to go. <laughs> All right, y'all. So remember to save more and say less. You keep making better your best. And we will catch y'all in the next one. Let's go.